Here's a townhouse for sale in regional Queensland. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two places to park the car. For $259,000, it sounds like a good deal, don't you think? Looking inside, it looks quite nice. Here's the floor plan. 121 square metre internal floor area. Lock-up garage. One bedroom on the ground floor. Two bedrooms on the top. A bathroom on each floor. A living room on each floor. Here's some pictures of the private courtyard. Looks nice. Kitchen. Living room. The two bathrooms. I should become a real estate agent. Spacious bedrooms with plentiful built-in cupboards. I like it. I want to buy it. But hang on, let's just read the description first. Spacious townhouse, opposite parklands, close to shopping centre, medical centre, public and private schools and the university. Too good to be true, right? The opportunity is yours. Move in or invest! Three exclamation marks. Gated with an on-site manager. Hmm, I don't like the idea of an on-site manager. Sounds like it will cost extra money. Open living downstairs with a study alcove and TV room upstairs. These truly are suited to those who want a wonderful, quality lifestyle. Freshly painted. New blinds throughout. A surefire investment opportunity. Excellent rental history with manager in complex. There's that manager again. I wonder how much he gets. Or she. Current tenant in place with a periodic lease paying $295 per week. For this area, that sounds fairly reasonable. But here's the kicker. The ongoing costs. Body corporate, $929 per quarter. I'll convert all these to yearly costs to make it a bit easier to follow. So body corporate, $3,716 per year. Admin, $2,164 per year. Sync, $1,384 per year. Insurance, $192 per year. Rates, $1,928 per year. Water rates, $600 per year. So adding all them up, we get a grand total of $9,984 in ongoing costs per year. It seems a lot. Dividing that by 52 to get the weekly costs, we get $192 per week. That's essentially like a rent. So if I manage to buy this place for myself to live in for $259,000, remembering they're asking for offers over that price, then I still have to shell out $192 per week before my normal living expenses. That's really steep. If I was buying this place as an investment, well, let's work out the yield. Our net rental income taking out expenses will be $295 minus 192, which equals $103 per week. To calculate the yield of our investment, we divide the annual rental income by the property value and multiply that by 100. So the yearly rent is $103 times 52, which is $5,356 per year. Divide that by the property value, 259000 and multiply by 100. That gives us a net yield of 2.07%. I don't know about you, but that seems a little bit rubbish to me. I mean, it's probably better than leaving your money in the bank, but I reckon there are a lot better investments out there. Of course, this is just one townhouse in one city in one part of regional Queensland. I presume not all townhouses will have on-site managers, but you would still have to pay council rates, body corporate, insurance, and so on. Anyway, I just found this little exercise kind of interesting, and it helped me to confirm that the sale price of a townhouse or unit, although attractive, isn't everything. Cheers! Mm -hmm.